to make something that's going wrong right. Better call Bacon. Oh, the crooks, they're out there whining and dining all over Tampa Bay using fraudulent credit cards. Some of the cards issued to these criminals are showing up in a Spring Hill couple's mailbox. Robert and Sandra Beckles say they've turned to authorities, but so far no one seems to care in their opinion. So they thought, well, you know what, we'll just call Bacon. And they did, and Shannon is here now with the results. What happened? Well, no doubt about it, Keith. I looked at these cards, and this is definitely fraud. The couple is worried that their address is associated with what appears to be a big scam. The first letter was for a Ronald White. It's that it's our address, but nobody by that name lives here. Then other letters and statements showed up. And then it started to come one after another. Including some for pro athletes like Michael Jordan and Gerald McCoy. Robert and Sandra took their first batch of mail to their post office. This collection shows the piles of suspicious mail to arrive since. Credit card after credit card with fake names and their Spring Hill address. That started to really make the, the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. They lock their mailbox and retrieve mail before any crook ever could. But someone continues to use their address. You have called these credit card companies. What did they tell you? Because they issued this card to this person. They tell us there's nothing that they can do because the card is not in our name. Credit card statements show someone is using a Discover card to buy groceries, pizza, even get their nails done. So you think what kind of damage they could do with all of these cards if they could retrieve them. And who knows whether they're using another address doing the same thing and people are not paying any attention. I reached out to the credit card companies involved and they all alerted their fraud departments. The postal inspector tells me that this couple should return all mail to sender and that that should trigger a postal investigation. Well, I haven't heard that. That's actually a good idea. Yeah, return very good. to sender. I haven't mm -hmm. heard that. Uh, but what about the uh, financial responsibility? Is this couple facing any of that? Well, you notice wise? none of those cards had their name on it, so they should not be responsible. But this is a sign that something could be wrong and they should lock down their credit and their credit card card reports, which they've already done, because it could be an indication that there's some kind of identity theft going on, yeah. maybe just stealing their address. All right. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you, Shannon. If you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Becca at the telephone number one eight five five.